Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My hair is dirty. It had to be pulled back today, so I look like an egghead. So don't mind me, okay? This morning, Jerry and I sat and recorded so many podcast episodes. We are pre-recording for when uh, Zane and I go away so that you guys have episodes to listen to. So the grind is real for so many hours. I still have a headache from talking so much and staring at the computer screen. So... I ate some food, I got ready for the day. Zane and I also just booked our rental car for when we go away. Um, it was kind of hard because, I don't know if you guys know this, but renting a car, a lot of places you have to be 25 or older, which I'm 23, Zane is 22. And so they charge like this extra fee when you're under 25, like a lot of money extra. And so we were trying to find a rental place that would allow us to, and it actually ended up being an Audi. Like, I don't know much about cars, but I think it's an Audi A4. Zane was really excited about it. Um, I know it's like a nicer car, but it was either like that or a Toyota. And they were like literally like a similar price if we got the fee waived. And I don't think we could have. So it was like actually cheaper to get an Audi versus getting a like a Toyota or something along those lines, which is really interesting. The USPS truck just pulled up. I wonder if they have my HelloFresh. Anyway, so yeah, we got our rental car, so we were doing that this morning. Um, I decided to get out of the house for a little bit because it ended up being beautiful out today. It is 72 degrees. The lighting keeps going in and out. Sorry. It is 72 degrees outside. Beautiful. And I'm not really going outside, though. I'm going shopping. I have too much clothes in my closet, but... I need to go through and get rid of things and it's also so nice for a vacation to get at least a few new items and I wanted to get like maybe like a cute dress or I don't know I have like no vision in, in mind I'm going with no vision because I think if I got too specific then I wouldn't find what I was looking for and just get frustrated so I'm gonna go to H&M and Forever 21 in the mall and just like literally just look around and see if anything sparks my attention and like makes me feel like oh I would wear that on vacation <laughs> we're gonna do like a lots of exploring and so I want like a lot of like comfortable outfits and it's gonna be hot as balls apparently so I'm gonna get a lot of comfortable warm stuff so yeah we're just gonna check out Forever 21 and h and I have to go to Zumba at 7 o'clock in a few hours so I'm dressed kind of in case I need to just like go right there this t-shirt is Princess Polly it's got like the Rolling Stones tongues on the back this is like a bad way to show you my outfit of the day but these leggings are from Amazon and then my Adidas sneakers pretty casual and simple also because if fitting rooms are open and I want to try some things on I like to be super comfy you know my tan is just a disaster right now it needs to be redone but I'm like kind of trying to like hold it out until it's like closer till we go away so the mall that I'm going to H&M and Forever 21 are literally right next to each other so I figured I'd stop in both maybe there's a few other stores there that I can check out I haven't just gone like nice and shopping by myself and just like browsed in a long time I was gonna go to Abercrombie and Fitch and get like a pair of jeans but then I'm like oh so it's gonna be so hot and I called them and they only carry like regular length he said at the outlet store not short length and like he said that all the other locations on Long Island were closed which is like weird but I didn't ask any questions I'm like okay forget it you know what this is sign I shouldn't be wearing pants like jeans on vacation anyway I'm gonna be hot unless we go to like a dinner or something okay bye let's go shopping we have made it to the mall I think vaccinated people don't have to wear their mask anywhere I'm not sure of the rule I don't know if only certain I know like businesses if they have a thing on the door you should wear it but like I don't know about like a mall like do I don't want to look like I an anti-masker so I'm gonna wear it even though I'm fully vaxxed I see a lot of people walking in the mall with a mask on so I think I'm gonna follow that I don't want to look like the odd man out <laughs> To be honest with you guys, you don't fit in my purse, so I'm literally bringing a Target bag so that I can put you guys in there when I don't want to hide the camera. It is so much nicer and easier to just do things in life when it's warm out. Like, no jackets and scarves and, oh, it's just so nice. I ate earlier this morning. I had a protein bar, an egg sandwich, and some poppables. And so I'm gonna need to eat before so I, um, Zumba at seven o'clock because it's only four. So I think I might grab myself a little bit of food in the food court. That sounds fun. That sounds fun. I feel, I feel like such an egg with this mask on. Here we are. Oh, I parked right by it. I'm a genius. I'm gonna start with Forever 21. <gasps> I already see cute stuff. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Do they have their fitting rooms open? I'm not even sure. <gasps> Look at all the cute stuff. Should we go outside of my comfort zone a little bit? Oh my god. Oh, I'm so excited. Would you guys make fun of me if I bought this and wore this in Texas? 
I won't, I won't, don't worry. I won't embarrass you guys. Doing well so far. I can't really vlog and carry all this stuff at once, but I will show you in the fitting room. I think it's open. Forever 21 was a fail. You guys, I got one active wear tank top. That's it. I tried on so many things. She wanted to keep this Target bag, so I couldn't even bring my camera in. It was a hot mess. So now we're at H&M, hoping for better luck. Oh, should just order online, but I'm worried it won't come in time. I have clothes, honestly. I have stuff, but this is just for funsies. They're haunting me with all the plain stuff. Look, I already got a plain black dress. Boring. <laughs> Zane would be yelling at me if he was with me. Oh, everything just looks so comfy though. Check it out, you guys. This is much better. We're in H&M. Got some good lighting. Got some cute stuff. All neutrals, of course. And I have my camera this time. So we're gonna hang up my mask. And let's see if something works. I wasn't gonna try anything on because I think I'm just, I need my hair and makeup, you know, and a tan, but we'll try. I'm also very bloated from period symptoms, so it's not helping when I'm trying things on. Okay, these are actually kind of cute. They're 35 bucks. I took off my shoes. Sorry, that's kind of gross, but I wanted to see what they would look like without shoes on because I wear these with sandals, the lighting, hello. Kind of cute, right? Cute, I want to see if they have an extra small because these are small, but I cuff them at the bottom a little bit. Okay, that's a win with a little beige crop top, cute. They're a linen material, but also I just realized there are two, so I don't know if they come in zero, but I'll look. Okay, I got these in two sizes. These are the small, cute. I like these. I definitely have these from last year, I think. <laughs> Small's better. These are the medium, too big. Okay, so much better look here. This is extra small. So cute and simple. I love the high neck. Literally ten dollars. How is this ten dollars? This is so cute and comfy. Okay, this is the extra small. I'm gonna try on small. Okay, here's the small. I think the extra small fits better. This one's just a little bit baggier. So cute though. Mm, absolutely not. Maybe if it was cinched at the waist or a belt, but I'm gonna go with a no. Back into my boring outfit. Let's go. Okay guys, well here's the dealio is I just am not very good at fashion. I don't know if anyone can relate, but I am so simplistic. If I go out of my comfort zone or wear something that is uncomfortable, it ruins my day. And I know that sounds so dumb, but like if I'm not comfortable in what I'm wearing, it like irritates me to my core. And I just don't have the eye for like certain things. And I just feel so much better when I'm in something simple, which I hate. Cause like I look at other girls wearing like such cool trendy things and I'm like, you go, like you look amazing. And then when I want it on myself, I just like can't, which is fine. Like I just have like a simplistic style, I guess. But I like envy myself for that. I'm like, damn, I wish you would like step out of your comfort zone and like be okay with it. Cause like I can wear whatever I want. Not that I want to, that's the thing is like, I like my simple style. I just wish, I guess I wish that I liked more like cool items and like felt more confident in them instead of just like st sticking in my little bubble. What are you gonna do? It's just what happens. I got a few new little pieces. I'm excited about these. I could have definitely went a size down, but I couldn't find them, so I just stuck with these. They're um, linen material, and they're just like black pants. I showed you guys them, but I don't know how well you could see in that dressing room. I just love a good comfy pant because I like to wear pants in the summer, but obviously jeans are just like too hot sometimes. So those are nice. I definitely probably have these from last year. I have a lot of H&M sweatshorts, but I don't think I have this color. Everything was so affordable too. These were $12.99. Just cute and comfy for um, like if we're chilling at the Airbnb or whatever. I just have like a comfy short. And then I got this like simple little black dress. It was so comfy. I wanted to get the other color as well, but they didn't have the size that I needed and I could have worn that uh, small, but I liked the extra small better, so I didn't settle, which normally I would do, but I'm like, black is fine. We don't need another color, that's fine. And they have like really stretchy straps and just really comfortable ribbed material. And it was literally $10. Maybe I should have got the other color. And then lastly, do you guys wanna laugh? This is literally what I got from Forever 21. $10, little black workout tank top for the summertime for when I go to the gym. That's it. That's all I got. I want like cotton high neck tank tops like this. I just like working out in them. Anyways, that is all that I got from the mall. 
It is now 6.08. I'm gonna go grab a bite. I went to the food court in this mall and this mall is just like going downhill. I think it's like slowly shutting down everything. And literally in the food court, they had Wetzel's pretzels and uh, Charlie's Philly cheese steaks. And I was like, eh, I want something like small. And like, I just didn't want either of that. I was really looking for like a little sushi roll or like, um, like a Chinese takeout kind of place where they have like the rice and the chicken in like the little platters. So I don't know where I'm gonna end up right now, but we're gonna find something. Hi, can I place an order for pickup please? Okay, phone number. Okay, what do you like to order? Can I just have an avocado roll? Okay. And then a connie salad. Connie salad and avocado roll, right? Yes. Okay, I'll see you in uh, 10 minutes. Awesome, thank you. Bye. Bye. You don't even know. You don't even know. Mm. <laughs> it's all little things in life, you guys. This makes me so happy. I got it from a place that's right by my gym, so now I can just enjoy eating for about 30 minutes until my class, and then I can just go to the gym. Heaven. FaceTime Zane to keep me entertained. Hi. What's poppin'? I got an avocado roll and a connie salad. Oh, dude, I'm actually so hungry, but I'm waiting. I don't know if even came. Go check. What do you want to make if uh, it doesn't come? Um, a meal or something? A what? A frozen meal or something? Yeah. We have frozen meals. Um, We have that chicken still. The shredded chicken. Do something with that. Oh, actually, you know what we have? Pancetta. What? Pancetta. No, I was going to say, uh, we have like some sort of Chinese chicken. In the freezer. Yeah, that was our teriyaki. Yeah. Yeah. Go see if HelloFresh came. I am. God. Fancy. Yeah, it didn't come, dude. All right, so we'll have... I'll have to make that tomorrow, I guess. Look how fancy this is. Fuego. Well, you, you think HelloFresh is still gonna come? No. Nah. It's too late now. It usually comes through USPS. Yeah, it's probably gonna come tomorrow then. I just finished in the studio for now. Mmm. It was good. Yeah. Very different. I'm gonna go to the store. I'm gonna see if I can get my medicine. Okay. I had a little bit of luck at H&M. Yeah, did you? Yeah, I got a few little things. Nice. Things that I probably already have in my wardrobe, though, so you'll make fun of me. If it is an essential that you wear often, or, like, if it's something that you have, but maybe it fits different or something, then I think it's worth it. Mm. This is so good. It's, like, big chunks of mango. Oh, really? Which I usually would not care for that much fruit in my food, but it's, like, delicious. Mmm. And a great balance of cucumber and crab. Nice. Oh my god, I was so hungry. I was like getting so angry. Did you wear your mask in the mall? Mm-hmm. You did? I didn't see anyone with it off. Actually, two people I saw. On this sushi place that I just went into, it sat on the door, mask required, so. Yeah. I think it's just going to be like a place by place basis. I think it's just, if you're fully vaccinated, you don't have to wear it. I think that's it. Yeah, no. On Wednesday of last week, Cuomo came out and said that. Oh. Outdoor and, and indoor? If it says otherwise, then you're not allowed to, right? Like, if it says, you know, like, mask required, then obviously wear a mask. Because that's the business's discretion. Yeah, yeah. But generally speaking, everything's open. It just feels weird. It does, yeah. yeah. People are doing it, though. On the At the gym, I, have, I don't care not wearing it. A lot of people don't. Uh, that's true. Okay. Zumba, here I come. See you guys after. What is this? What is this? Bailey, did you get me a present? Is it a chicken? Oh my goodness. Hello, are you hiding with more presents? What? <laughs> you, you got me a just because basket? Yeah, man. <laughs> Your basket? <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Just because. Oh no, don't actually cry. Oh no. Baby. <laughs> Wait, don't actually cry. <laughs> You're supposed to just be funny, like, oh, you're gonna cry. Don't actually cry. I'm just I love you, baby. You wanna look at all your cool stuff? She's been so emotional. That's adorable. Have you tried this? 
Yes. You have? Yeah. I don't know if you tried it, but I saw it on the cookies and cream. Yeah, we've tried that one before. It's good. We just, I just know we both love the s'mores, so I just get the s'mores. Mmm. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? It's a room freshener. freshener. Like we need it. Did you take out the garbage? It smells really bad. Not yet. Okay. Just unscrew it. You can smell. It. Hey. Mmm. Feels like a hotel. You like it? Cause yeah. there was three, and I was going back and forth. I gotta spray you with this. And I thought that one was the best one. This one smells like super fresh. You know. Yeah, I like it. Ah, oh, that's one good. Peony. It says flower. That's the thing. I'm like, I know you typically don't like the way flowers smell, yeah, but I'm like, this good. one smells good. The sheet mask. <laughs> I told you I wanted to try these. Watermelon. I got you a sampler. <gasps> so you could try a bunch of different flavors. I think, like, the most popular one is watermelon, I think. Uh. Like, even when I went to the store, they had, like, mostly watermelon. Oh, okay. But I was like, let's try them all. Oh, yeah. Which, now... You know why I don't want to go out and do an adventure challenge because we have to try these. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we were on the phone when I was driving home like, what do you want to do tonight? I wanted to make it like super low key. I was kind of like mad that you called me too. Oh. I wanted you to just like come home and like make it more I, dramatic. You well, know? you know what? The blinds are open so I saw it. That's why I pulled out my camera. I saw something on the table and I was like, what is that? Nice. If you guys don't know what this is, it's a thing on TikTok that we saw. Hey, like now I take this basket. And it's just like randomly you do it just because basket. So now I have to fill this basket. No, this you don't cute. have to. I know. Where's it from? Target. Oh, you got everything at Target. Except the high noons. I went to the liquor store. You stopped at the liquor store and everything? Yeah, it's on the way home. Because I knew I wanted to get you high noons. Because I feel like you haven't really asked for like anything particularly. It's so happy. Oh, baby. I'm happy. Uh, Wait, hold on, hold on. Because these are... <laughs> These, these were warm. <laughs> Wait, these are warm. Let I me. Tried. I want to put it in the glass. I want to put it in the glass with ice for you. No, it's it feels chilly. You sure? Cause I'm gonna have one and I'm gonna put it in ice. Oh, it's exactly like the watermelon um white claw. Oh really? Yeah. Mmm. It's good. They're a good temperature. Oh. Yeah. I know you don't care. I don't care. Which one do you want? Try a pineapple. You like pineapple? Yeah. Try whatever. And I want to try it too. <laughs> I saw a TikTok. I don't know Wait, if it's a lie. I'm not done. But this TikTok that I saw said that high noons are higher quality than yeah. White Claws and Trulies. Because apparently Trulies and White Claws are beer based. And this is like liquor this is based. It's real vodka and real juice. Yeah. Sorry. No Maybe high fructose corn syrup, no artificial flavors, 2.6 grams of sugar. So you know what's dangerous? This just tastes like a good seltzer. Yeah. Mm. It's good. I think these are the best seltzers I've had. Mmm. Watermelon's good. I think I like pineapple better. I like watermelon better. There's another shower wrap. Yeah, you have a black one. You need a white one. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I'm in the basket. I love it. Do you like the basket? Because I was trying to get one that like you could actually like even use around the house. Yeah. Like, no. I feel like this fits our aesthetic. Yes. No, I would use this. It's good. adorable. But I'm going to use it again for you. <laughs> no, you don't have to. I don't want you to feel the whole point of this thing. Well, I'm not going to do it. You're just gonna, you're not going to know when I'm going to yeah, do it. Yeah, you're just... I bet you gifts all the time anyway. Yeah, it's just like a thing that you do, you know, whenever you're feeling it. I, I like, love it. Like, today I was thinking about you. I was at Target. So it just made sense to. This is my love language, so it's nice to get my love language back. Good, baby. I'm happy. Cheers yeah. to us. Cheers to us. Cheers to going to Texas. I'm excited, man. Huh, wait, I have to put it back together and take a picture. How do you fit it all in here? It was very cute. You did that very well. I'm impressed. Usually not good at crafty things. <laughs> well, this isn't crafty. Crafty meaning like if I had to like, I don't know, like glue like two little things together, that I'm not good with. But like styling, I think I'm pretty good with. With big items. It's yeah. so cute. No, it's good. Um, have you ever tried the chill the the churro one? No, but you tried it and you said it was good. Yeah. There's one in the fridge for you. It's probably expired now. You never ate it. I bought you a, a coconut one. I thought it would taste like the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't think it's expired. I think it is. I was going to eat it the other day, and I chose not to. I thought that it would taste like those cookies that you like. Ooh. Oh, wait. You need my thing. <laughs> you like it? I love it. No. 
Benjaroo. Yeah, get your butt out of here. I'm trying to take a boomerang. You know the emoji with the watery eyes? Yeah. That's me. <laughs> Wait, so that, what's your plan? Or you were just saying that because you have this. What? Hello Fresh was supposed to come today, but I think it's coming tomorrow instead. So we were going to make that. Do you love everything? Should I hold uh, your seat? Because I was like... I don't take it back. I want it. What? I don't take it back. I want it. Well, I wanted to make sure that you liked the way the Meyer smelt. And then that this fits you, but this is universal, so. Yeah, no, that'll be fine. Right, yeah, my plan was to try the Trulies, or High Noons, I mean, not Trulies, and make dinner. And, and then we can watch show? our show. Yeah. We've been watching, what is it called? Master Chef. Master Chef, it's really good. It's such a basic We're show. We're late to the game. Yeah, like, Although basic we started show, from, but fire. We started so from good. the most recent season, so. Yeah. What a good show. I think it might be my favorite Gordon Ramsay show. Because the one where he goes in and turns around restaurants, like... I love that one. I liked it, but... The 24 hour one? I don't know. I feel like Master Chef's cooler because it's like a competition. Mm. Like, I like competition shows. Mm -hmm. I'm going to throw up if we don't do that garbage. <laughs> you smell? Yes. Well, I can't smell, but I have my medicine. Oh, yeah. You got I think medicine. I have to eat it with food. That's why I didn't take it yet. Oh my god, I've been so emotional. This made me happy. I had a really good Zumba class, too. It was a lot of fun. There's this one lady that is hysterical. She's like a little short lady and she just like hypes up the club. She's like, woo, woo, like this when we have to shake our like little skirts. Uh, she's just so funny. She was making us die laughing. Really? And then there's like a dance where we like, du -du -du ole, du -du -du ole, and she's going, ole. It's just so funny. Bringing the energy. Yeah. Wait, so listen. It was a fun class. And then this, and then I just, I'm PMSing and... Well, I have a question because what? I couldn't be completely honest with you over the phone. But what I was thinking is if we, like, this is like, you can make this a thumbnail or something. Yeah. So now we can make pasta carbonara. We don't have all the stuff for it, but we can improvise. What are we missing? We don't have the vegetables. I usually put peas and asparagus in it. I just want, like, to be honest, a creamy fusilli pasta. Like we can do this. This sounds amazing. Um, I can make and I had a bunch of protein already, and I have more protein over there. So I'm like gonna have pasta and then that piece of chicken, and then call it a day probably. Mm. And some can I show you what I got? Yeah, if we're gonna do that, can I like start with the water boiling? I'm starving. Okay, yeah, go. Oh my god, I look like someone ran me over with a truck. In our last vlog, we were taking shots, and now in this one, we're drinking. <laughs> I didn't get that much. I wasn't feeling it. I think I like forced myself to go shopping, you know? Mm. When you go in person, or sorry, if you go online versus in person. No, online is definitely my preferred choice. But I was like, oh, maybe I'll like try things on, get inspired in the store. Are fitting rooms open now? Yes. And then I got to the point at Forever 21, like I tried on a few things and then I just looked at the other stuff and I was like, I'm not going to like it. And then I just stopped trying things on. Mm. This is a good night to make pasta because I'm not super hungry, so I won't eat the whole pound of pasta. I just See, had- For me, this is a good night because I am super hungry. And I'm gonna eat the whole thing. <laughs> and I really didn't eat much today, so. Well, um, I just had my roll and the kind salad. But by the time this is done, I'm definitely gonna have some. Hey, that's mine. It's pretty good. I think these are bigger than white claws, no? Or same size. No, I think everything is 355 milliliters. Mm -hmm. I think. So I got this dress. It's like very comfy and stretchy. Nice. Cute. I have a million of these in the closet. I have to try on, but I got another <laughs> pair. This is the one that you were telling me about? What? That you uh, have a million of. You were like, remember you were saying? Okay. I mean, these are, they look nice. It's comfy. Comfy. Perfect for like walking around and exploring, you know? Or just chilling in the Airbnb, like just to be comfortable. True. Yeah, like, look nice. Ooh. Beachy pants. Are like these linen pants? Yeah. Ooh -hoo. I could have went down a size. These are these. dope. I could have went down a size, but they didn't have, so I wish one with it. Once I eat a little, it'll be fine. Wait, the pants are dope. Really? You like those a lot? Yeah, I like oh. the li black linen. I just, I usually see beige linen. Okay, you guys, I am quite honestly disrespecting my carbonara recipe, <laughs> but. We are leaving soon, and so we're not buying any more groceries for this next week um, because we don't want to waste anything when we go away. So we're trying to use up all like the fresh stuff that we have. So I had a container of pancetta. My recipe is much better than this, but I had no like fresh veggies or frozen veggies. I only had frozen zucchini spirals. So I went with a can of mixed vegetables. 
<laughs> There's some onion, garlic, and then the pancetta. We had our fusilli pasta, some garlic, and then we only had three eggs, whereas my recipe, oh my god, secret recipe. My recipe is four eggs, and so um, I substituted with some egg whites from a carton, and then we only had three quarters of a cup of cheese. So we're just really going for it here. And then also we have some arugula that's like slightly bad about to go bad and so i'm just gonna throw it in there you know makeshift carbonara it's not authentic and not as good as my other recipe but hey maybe it'll be good oh shit it looks good oh, thanks. the arugula really makes it look fancy like, popping i know usually i don't add arugula or spinach that's very not what i do but <gasps> we had a bag that was going bad so here we are all right so what do you need me to do i am going to toss while you pour this okay Mhm. Mm go is there gonna be a continuous thing or you're gonna tell me to stop? Just go. Just keep pouring. Yeah. Good for you, you look happy now. Come on, baby, don't forget to ask. Maybe I can substitute the one egg for egg whites in my recipe. Make it slightly lower cow? Yeah. I mean, that doesn't really make that much of a difference, but still, it's interesting. You could do one of those things where you like add an asterisk and say like optional, you could swap out. Right, that's true. Like what I would do, just to make it like more uniform, you should try two and two and see if that, That's like true. how that comes out. Yeah, instead of three eggs and then egg white. Improvise <laughs> two. Improvise two. Looks delicious to me. Okay, now we add our. Oh, we have a grated parm. Uh, yeah, I just used it all in this. Oh, there you go. Shredded one. We only have more, right? I used the shredded and the grated, and we only still only had a three quarters of a cup. No, I said before. I'm like, I don't have extra. What's wrong with me? We can grab one of those. Those are shelf stable. So put, on, put eggs and um, par parm on our list. Oh, it still looks pretty good. That looks amazing. That's exactly what I wanted. I don't know if this is technically even carbonara anymore. It's like an adult mac and cheese. Yum. Okay. She may need some salt, but plated and fresh basil from the garden. Yes, sir. Ooh. No more than that. I'll take that one. Fresh basil for Zany Poop? Alright, just yours. Alright, just grab some forks. I'm not mad at this makeshift version. It still looks pretty good, but let's see how it tastes. <laughs> I cooked down the um, canned vegetables so much, so hopefully they don't taste bad. I like the frozen vegetables better than the canned ones, but I just have those as just in case, like for tonight. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. No, it needs salt. Nice creamy pasta. Mm, gabagoo. Gabagoo. Oh, yeah. Oh, it still came out good. Now give me some Gordon Ramsay. My recipe's yeah. better, but the makeshift is still good. Hello? Are you comfy? You look like you're gonna fall. <sighs> we ate up, watched two episodes of our show. Your girl's exhausted and had enough today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. A mess of a vlog. I promise better vlogs are coming. I'm sorry, you guys. HelloFresh is coming, so we'll have fun cooking. We're gonna prep for Texas, we have to pack, we're gonna travel, it's gonna be so much fun. Then, something to look forward to, we have travel vlogs, then we've got cooking with the fam, we're doing Korean fried cheese, then we've got a trip with my mom at the end of June. Just a lot coming up, so get excited. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.